Hello and welcome back to another episode of Total War Warhammer 2, playing Karak Kadrin and the Slayer King. I must fulfill my Slayer oath. So he must. So let's continue. So last time we had just beaten Ornery Backslider and uh, sort of did some damage to him. Sort of did some damage to him. We messed him right up, so we did. And uh, the problem now is that he's going to retreat to Karak Ungor, where they're already mustering. And uh, potentially a big siege battle going to occur there. So, I have a level on Ungrum. Let's give him Tactician for the extra ammunition for our Quarrelers. It's go we're going to need it in the siege battle. Now, the good thing about the siege battle is is that um, we can sort of do things on our terms. That sounds weird, but what I mean is that even though you know they're inside the, 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 the castle, we can just focus on one point and, you know, gather our archers and nuke them down and do all sorts of things to sort of cheese the battle. And it is a bit cheesy, but it's also realistic. I mean, you know, in real wars, they didn't tend to swarm the walls. They tended to uh, focus on a point and try and breach it. So um, that's what we're going to do. So that's my excuse for playing cheese tactics. Oh, no. <laughs> so back here, we're minus five with one turn for another plus five. That'll take it to zero uh, with no danger of uh, losing the province there. I will start to tax it until it gets right to the danger mark at that point. Um, this oh, turn, I can't finish off it. Ornery, and I don't think I should um, because I'm hoping his low fightiness and the fact that he has to replenish will contribute to our victory because if I destroy him now, uh, well, then I might be wrong about that. Uh. But then I don't get my quarrelers, that's what I'm scared of, and I really want to have a full stack of quarrelers for this next bit. I think it'll make a big difference. But then again, what's going to help me more? Me having two quarrelers or them having eight units here, plus this lord. I grow restless. You know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to kill him. And I'm not going to make the same mistake as last time. I'm going to fight this manually because manually we will absolutely cream them. And uh, auto resolve, I'll probably lose another 150 mil units, which is just not acceptable losses for a battle like this. I, I don't want to lose more than 30 men here. Um, being the superior tactician that I am, not cocky whatsoever. <laughs> Uh, so let's get our archers here. Um, I'll make good use of Ungram here as well. Once we start, I'll put them a little bit out, out to the front here. Ungram and the Runesmith, although we'll probably commit the Runeslim Runesmith a little bit less than last time, just so that he doesn't nearly die. But we're still going to put them front and center. Let's let's go here. Actually, this looks pretty good. Let's get right up there. Hyper aggressive. That's how we like to play. Be aware they've got night goblins as well. Miners, range far, range fast. Ready to strike. They have wronged us. Just gonna try and get them to just sort of run around without actually hitting anything. <laughs> That's the plan there. Ah well, they hit something. Not really though. They're fine. Can we hit these guys? That should not take this long. There we go. And let's bring you back. And you know what? We're not going to kill him. Again, we're not going to kill him. I'm going to try and kill all his troops though, but not him. Keep him low. That should be a fightiness level that benefits us. Let's see. We haven't wiped him out. We've wiped out most of his troops though, and now I'd be happy to let him go. I think. <laughs> it's between balancing fightiness and whether he'll because he can still recruit right so I'm just like Ugh, maybe we should just get rid of him I never know whether to judge sometimes I've played games 
where the, the because it's legendary, I've seen the, the AI recruit as many as 10 units in a single turn. And I don't know what its decision-making process is for that. So I'm like, oh, what should I do? Should I let him go? Should I not? Again, we're not going to... Oh, he's dead anyway. Okay, well, that it's made my decision for me, which I'm actually quite happy about because I really wasn't sure. Um, you know what? I don't think he can recruit that much in one turn, so we're going to move right on up here. And next turn, uh, we'll, we'll go for him. Will we? This is risky, but yes. There we go. Okay, we've done it. Next turn, nine plus whatever this guy comes up with in one turn, which I hope is not too much. I really hope what would be awesome, so he's not, the garrison's really not that strong. I shouldn't worry about it. It's just if he recruits a big, I'm just scared of him recruiting like 10 orc biggins, which I really, ha I have seen that before. And then I'm just like, oh, come on, you know? Um, hopefully not though. Don't mind if it's 10 goblins, just not 10 big orc biggins. So uh, that's fine. What would be awesome is if you recruited the Lord, because then what I'll do is I'll attack the Lord and they'll the, the garrison army will reinforce him outside the gates. And uh, that will make my life so much easier, so please do that. Okay, let's pass our turn. Luckily, we haven't seen any more of the bloody spears since they showed themselves for a wee skiing trip or whatever they were up to in this little mountain pass. <laughs> Orcs in the Pyrenees. Okay, let's see what you managed to come up with here. Okay, I think I can see... You know, I think I can see a second lord there. I'm pretty damn sure I can. Public order. Oof. You know what? I'm happy that we'll be able to do this, so let's take the public order. Let's take the free public order. Okay, let's put that back to taxing. Now it's only minus one. Awesome. So we're on plus 430 a turn. Next level. Mr. Runesmith, strike those runes. Five units. Could have been worse. Could have been worse. Let's engage here. Here we go. Oh, it's a scary engagement, but I'm pretty sure we've got this. It's it's more scary because of the reinforcements, and I don't know where they're going to come from. That also scares me. Uh, I'd love it if, like, one came from behind. That'd be cool. So we could sort of just crowd them and destroy them, but any more than one, and it might be a bit of a bit of an issue. If all the reinforcements came from behind us, then I'd be like, eek, not good. Let's see what happens. Okay, the reinforcements are arriving over here. That's fine. Probably not much difference then wherever we go. Um, the big deal for me here is they have two heroes to take care of. I'm going to have to use this left side. That's not a problem though. We'll go right to the wall. So, one, two, three, four. And if he comes for us, that's fine. We're going to set up on the left-hand side here. And this is going to be one hell of a battle, so... Quite nervous. There's the edge there. Move, move, move. Let's see it. Hustle, 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 hustle. Okay, this is the edge. So I want warriors in the usual formation. Nice and long. Nothing can stop us. Go. Strike out. Strike out. 
Giving us a lot of width as well here. It's nice. Runesmith's looking a bit healthier. Ungram's looking awesome. He's very happy. Happy days for him. Miner's watching the flanks as usual. They're usually pretty good at it. They've been doing a good job so far, that's for sure. Okay. Speed this up. They're just going to meet their lord right now, aren't they? Yes. This is interesting. I'm going to send Ingram to deal with him. This is how it's going to go. I'm actually okay with them coming in this in this line that they're deciding to come in. It's absolutely fine. Because they'll end up really, really squished up. And that's fine for our archers. What I might do, though, is just advance these guys a little bit forward. Let's have you there. That looks good to me. I mean, we're not shooting yet, which isn't as good to me, but, um, you know, <laughs> hopefully shooting very soon. And I want to see some orc heads rolling. Okay, he's dead. Well, wow, 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 wow. He is dead, dead, dead. Awesome. Right, engage there. Let's get this guy dead as well. Wow, we didn't actually kill their lord. Let's try and kill this lord. I'm just going to put these guys here. Just to make sure they don't come through this gap. What's going on, archers? Seriously, we need to... Right, let's just fire on this. 15 seconds. There's they're such a good blob and no one's firing. I'm just like, what is going on? If you can't see the, the general, just freaking shoot anything. I don't care. Shoot something. That is just the most spectacularly perfect blob in blob history. I couldn't have orchestrated it better if I was doing it on purpose. You guys fire on this. You might be happier. I'm quite happy for these guys to just stand and take shots from archers. It's actually not a bad thing at all. They'll probably last longer than they will against all these boys anyway. Well, do me a favor and do some slaying. The archers are not doing a good job here. Like, that is just so juicy. They have a perfect line of sight to it. I don't know why they're struggling so much. I feel like we should be getting way more kills than we are. Because when this breaks, and it will, we're going to be in serious trouble. You guys need to get over here. Pronto. Guys, come on. Come on. I see some hustle here. I'm going to fire on the goblin archers. Would that make you feel better? I'm going to move over here to make sure they don't come forward this way. Don't get caught in that fight, please. Okay, now it's looking good. Oh, hang on. Just quickly, everyone fire on him. That's a direct shot on him. And this should finish him off and then hopefully win us the battle. There we go. Get him. Now, fire on this. You lot fire on this big pile here. So I'm not going to engage them if I don't have to. Because just the less surface area we have in combat, the longer it holds, you know? There we go. They're all fighting Ungram now. Perfect. And we're getting the casualty benefit now. The, uh... Yes, there they go. It was a bit of a shaky start there with our archers. Bit of a shaky start, to be sure. Definitely let our archers shoot them on the run. 
Guard mode. Yes, Lord. Warriors. And the biggins are the absolute threat here, so we want to get rid of as many as possible. Who's that? Ah, they had a third Lord. Okay, didn't see him. And we did lose a unit of warriors there, I think. But all in all, that was a really, really strong victory. Nice big pile of orcs over here. Look at this. Beautiful mound of yellow. Just go for the, just go for the normal cave view. Look at these guys standing there. They'll be very proud of that. Big pile of orcs. All orcs. No dwarfs. Just a big mound of orcs. Beautiful. Awesome victory there. Uh, really, really painful, uh, of course, for the um, for the melee troops. But uh, their job is done now. We're going to assault Karakungor. And the archers, I mean, I see their job is done. They've got a little bit of pain left to go through before they're quite done. But most of the job is done. The archers will uh, clean up Karakungor. They have remaining 400 and... 43 troops, not including this general, who will run away. Let's get the extra leadership bonus. Oh, he's not run away far enough, though, so he might still be in this battle, actually. I must fulfill my Another level. Role. Perfect. Increase our missile damage for quarrelers. Even better. And I'm actually going to combine these two miners. Uh, and I'm going to combine these battle. warriors, because 11 men is a pointless unit. Onward. How much movement will that cost me? I would like to... Because if I engage him here... Are they coming out again? They are! Awesome! This is this is the most ideal outcome we could ever wish for. Let's clean up. Let's make sure we kill everyone. At first I was like, oh no, he's still in range. But then I was like, wait a minute. That's perfect. <laughs> Excuse me. Maybe I should edit that out. <laughs> I'm really sorry about that. <laughs> Okay, where are the reinforcements coming from? Behind us. Well, that's fine. They're never going to reach. He's never going to get past our archers, so that's fine. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> there he goes. Okay. Quarrelers, look at this. What an awesome battlefield. I love just big flat snow battlefields. Really cool. He must be an absolute pin cushion. Looking good there, dude. Right. Form some throngs. Throng them. Come really close to the archers, please. There. And I'm going to use almost exclusively Ingram here to try and stop their charge. I don't want to really use any melee here. But we do need to make sure we engage them. As best we can, so that we can clean up and pretty much get rid of everyone who's in the fortress that we can. So that means focusing their archers first, that's for damn sure. Oh, there we go. Them. Please annihilate. I want to see thousands of dead goblins. Oh my god, look at that. Look at that. <laughs> this stinks. I bet it does. Oh my god, annihilated. Perfect. Let's get rid of these guys. Okay, that unit got destroyed. Okay, next is... Nah, that's fine. You know what? Let's fire on the archers. Killing off all these archers is perfect. And then kill Musk so they have no morale. 
Ungram's fine, he's got 20% health left. You, you're not fine, though. There we go. Good stuff. Let's finish these guys off. Let's see it, guys. Kill them all. Perfect. Okay, they have, what, the tiniest amount of men left. With no generals left to lead them. So, pretty, lo zero losses, that's what we want to see. They have 78 men left in the garrison with no general to lead them. I think we'll have not too hard a time taking Karakungar. And that's a, that's a huge step forward for us. Really, really is. That's, um... You know, from going to pretty pretty low income settlements in the start for Karakadron to having a gold mine is a big deal. Next on the agenda will definitely be um, to take Mount Gunbad. And I think we can afford, although I don't really want to. No, 100 gold is not worth it. <laughs> we got our miners regiment of renown, which is nice. All of them killed in battle. Let's level Ungram up. Maximum tactician. That is awesome. Karakungor. You will be mine, but it's going to take a turn to do it. <laughs> it's going to take a turn to do it. Now, I have kept forgetting to do this last turn. Let's check our diplomacy. Who wants to be my friend? Kislev. Thank you. Please tell your queen that I am much obliged. So be it. And Telebackland and Ostermark. Yes. Okay, let's start making some real relationships here because we'll be able to trade soon with Kislev, who will just be there. Telebackland are there. Osterland have lost Essen, but then Telebackland have taken it back. Well, I guess it's in the name. Ha <laughs> ha! But uh, yeah, that's interesting. Um. Okay, taking this next turn will be amazing for our income. Allow us to field a full army with it, with still getting an income to spare. And uh, even maybe add some slayers in to the Slayer King's army. It wouldn't be a bad idea to wipe out the vampires first. I do like going for Mount Gumbad because it's obviously such a good city. But the vampires get so strong so quickly if left unchecked. And I feel like we could wipe them out really early with our Slayer advantage that we have as uh, as Ungrim. So, let's see what happens. We'll pass a turn now. I also have 48 Oath Gold there. Um, should probably spend that next turn and get, get a weapon for um, or, or indeed some armor for our Runesmith, just to keep him alive as long as possible. I used to hoard all my oath gold, and then I realized by the time you get all the resources you need to, to spend on the top quality items, you're already drowning in oath gold, so it doesn't really matter. You don't need to. You can just spend it on the cheap items. Within reason, of course, but um, in general, I've found that to be the case. I still can't believe we have a 20% ward, ward save amulet on... Uh, Ungram within within five turns, I think it was. That's just amazing. <laughs> five or ten turns, something like that. And we're taking Karakungor really, really early here, which is just awesome. Positive growth, that's good news. And you know what? Be kind. Lost zero. That's more like it. Thank you very much. And we'll occupy that. Peacefully, and the northern world's edge mountains are ours. The Red Eye have been destroyed, wiped out, and the slayer in me seeks we have death. done part of our Slayer Oath proud, I think. So, let's take the Rune of Wrath and Ruin on our Runesmith also. Let's get him an item, like I said I would. Probably give him some armor would be good at the behest of speed. Not sure... Wow, we could actually get that. What do you mean? Gold right here. Did they not build their own gold mine? 
They haven't built their gold mine, my god. <laughs> well, I'm going to delete this, obviously, and build a gold mine instead, because... Duh. Actually, I think they probably had. We, it was probably on level 3. Yeah, it must have been built, because... Um, this had more income when they owned it. So... I grow restless. That's fine. I was about to say I might recruit some stuff first, but no, that's fine. We'll head south first and then recruit. Um, public order will become an issue here, though. If we don't get a second public order building, I might need to destroy this, which is... A real pain because it's giving me a nice 300 gold there for free. What? As in, I didn't have to build it, but uh, we'll decide in a second. Um, down here, there's nothing I can do. Oh, public order here as well. That might be nice. And also, what are we? Minus 10 plus minus 3. Sorry. We should be fine for public order. Or at least not too bad at all. Very I soon. Am the Slayer King. Not much we can do this turn anyway. So the question we now need to ask ourselves is do we want to go after the vampires or do we want to go after the orcs? Either are profitable, both both have a gold mine. Mount Gunbad is worth more, but um, they are both good good people to take out. And I think it might be more effective to take out the vampires because that allows the empire to flourish and the empire of course are our natural allies and the um, when they do well, we will do well. So. It wouldn't be a bad idea to uh, take the vampires out, just get rid of them now, so that the Empire just become the most powerful force on the Earth. That's my thinking. I, I, I think I'm talking myself into going for the vampires first. And there we go, just in time as well, because look, war declared between Von Karstein and Zufbar. And Zufbar always get it in the neck, man. Poor Zufbar always get wiped out. If we could save Zufbar then we've done a good deed that not many have managed to achieve. <laughs> because they always get wiped out so early. They may say you revel in your victories. You spend more time erecting monuments, battles past than managing the realm. They say I am a fool. Hmm. Probably recruitment. I won't be in any battles for three turns, that's for sure. An extra 3,000 gold, very nice. 4,000 if we do that, cool. Gold mine, please, and let's march. Where do I want to go? I want to go to Carrot Cadron as quickly as possible, really. So I'm probably best going this way. Yes, my oath is intact. I think. My slayer oath prevents me. I wonder if we can get there in two turns. That'd be nice. Can we further with marching? No, this is this is further. Okay. Here. And I doubt we can reach Carrot Cadrum next turn, although it would be really nice if we could, but I don't think so. And then, uh, so two turns, then we'll get a couple of Slayers, a couple of Warriors, and um, go and attack some Vampires. That'll be next on the hit list. And Talabaglander are doing very well. They've deleted Walden off. Eshin has a gate. Yeah, my lord, they're this, they're already doing well. I can't believe Talpakland of all of all teams are doing uh, doing well. Also, let's check for some trade agreements. Kislev, trade agreement, sir. Thank you, Talpakland. I feel like it would be a good idea. Oh wow, just it's just high apparently. Any any mention of gold, and they're like, no, no way. But that's awesome. Look, that took us over a thousand gold. That is awesome. So we have far more gold than we can spend at the moment, which is which is always the best position to be in. 
you know, we'd want to spend it if we could, but uh, it's better to have it and not need it than need it and not have it, as they say. That will doubtless not last for long, though. Okay, volley fire. Quarrelers are just getting better and better. The Bray Herds come. Not far away either. Oh, look at that. Look at that. You know, I looked at it and I thought, maybe, maybe. And I just thought, I can't see any yellow, but I'll just click and see if he makes it. <laughs> and there you go. Worth a try. Um, oh wow, that's not even built yet. When that gets built, 600 extra gold, and then we're going to be swimming in gold. Um, in that case, you know what? We can get, probably get rid of this, this toolmaker. I'm going to get rid of it now. No, there's no need to get rid of it now. I'll get rid of it in maybe four or five turns, something like that, once it starts to become an issue. Let's get all the gold we can for now. There's Manfred himself. He's just... Oh, look at that army! That's why we need Slayers. Slayers will chop these guys to bits, as long as they're not the ones taking the charge. If you get Slayers in behind Cavalry, they'll uh, they'll absolutely annihilate them. And they'll also annihilate the Vargulf, and they'll also annihilate the Direwolves. Um, they'll annihilate anything, really, especially if they're not the ones taking the blows. They'll really chop them to bits, but especially against something like a Vargulf, they will cut it to ribbons. It's, it's amazing how effective they are. Um, now, that's not really that good volley fire. Not so interested in that. Recruitment costs. You know what? I'm more interested in this. Public order plus one for everyone is, is just it's just a touch, but it, you'd be amazed at the difference it makes. That's useless. Oh no, humans. I didn't read humans there. Thought it was just high elf and lizardmen. I was like, oop, that's just crap. <laughs> Okay, so we have to now think what's going to benefit us more in the long run. That's amazing. Iron Drakes are just the best unit in the game. Five armor for Dwarf, dwarf Shields units. That's really good. We'll go for that. There's nothing I, I see yet that I need to rush. I'm not playing rangers this time. Sometimes I play rangers instead of uh, quarrelers, and then it's best to obviously go for the... Uh, well, not on the Carrot Cadron. That's on Belagor, of course, but... Belagor. <clears throat> that would be nice as well. You know what? I'm going to go for the public order. It's only plus one, but it really helps. That's also really good. Settlement buildings, 10%. Actually, it's not that good, is it? What's that? 12 gold there. But it stacks, right? Because you have so many settlement... It's guaranteed to have a settlement building, right? So you have 10% on every single one. That's already about 100 gold on all these, I think. What's that? We have four settlements. 12. 12. 12. 12. Uh, it's 48 gold. It's not. It's not <laughs> we're not even a unit. It's pretty crap. Never mind. <laughs> um, okay. Let's just check our diplomacy one more time. All's well. And next turn we'll be uh, building some some slayers and some. Well, probably not next turn, but I might build some warriors first. I think I'm only going to try and get two slayer units. Um, and then have some more warriors. I might even get rid of the miners. They're just they're just so bloody weak. It's good to have one unit of miners just for gates and stuff like that. But um Greetings. Oh, hello. Speak quickly for a... Oh, well that has made my decision for me then, hasn't it? That's a lot simpler. <laughs> there we go. Manfred knows what he wants unlike me. And it's Ungram's head on a plate. 
Maybe Dowie blood tastes better than human blood. Ostland and Kislev have negotiated peace. That's good for us. I didn't know they were at war. So I'm certainly glad they're at peace now. And Talbakland are being attacked by beastmen. God, that's not good for them. Mine dispute. Oh, goodness. Yes, definitely extra 10% gold. For how many turns? Three turns. And we get our gold mine next turn. So that's another 60 gold or something. Yes. Whenever I actually think about the numbers, I'm always like, ah, it's actually not that good. <laughs> that's a bit underwhelming, isn't it? Um, and uh, you know what, guys? That is where I'm going to leave it for this uh, episode. So that's been really good. Next time we'll be attacking Waldenoff for sure uh, after we do a little bit of recruitment because um, we know that he's got a lot of Black Knights, so we need to be ready for that. But to be honest, I'm not scared of that. Black Knights are so easy to shoot um, when you compare the sizes of our models from the Dwarfs to the to the Black Knights. As soon as they're engaged in combat, they just get annihilated by Quarrelers, so uh, I'm not really worried about that. Um, so yeah, so thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe and like and all that usual stuff, and I will see you in the next one. Cheers!